Everybody tired? <laughs> I know the officials are. Uh, Rick Randall uh, has been a friend for a long time, and he came over late in the game and said, uh, it's about time that we, you won one where I've refereed. I think you're over the last five, and, and uh, so it's not over yet, I tell you. Uh, but I asked him once, I said, yeah, I hope you guys are in shape because this, this game got up and down the second half. But great effort by our team. Got off to a slow start, uh, gave up a couple of threes that we weren't expecting, and uh, we didn't make shots in the first half, uh, didn't rebound the ball the entire game, really. But we were able to, to, just like the Arkansas State game, make enough shots to kind of stay in the game. And, and uh, Cedric hit a big three going into the half that uh, cut it to 10. And so the, the talk at halftime was similar to the talk that we had against Arkansas State, we know that was the best comeback that we've had this year. This can be our best moment. And, and we said it again tonight, and the guys responded again tonight. And early in the, in the second half, we ch chipped away and got it to, what, four or five right there. And then once we got the lead and got ahead, uh, we were able to continue to shoot the ball. We had seven guys that made threes. And uh, it helps when you go from making two threes, like we talked about Monday, two for 20, 10 percent, to, to making 16 tonight, which I think tied one of our school records. Uh, and just a, a great second half. I mean, to score that many points. And I uh, thought Dugay fought on the glass and was leading rebounder in the game, had a double-double. Uh, they're eighth in the nation in offensive rebounding. And you see why. They're big and strong and, and pushed us around. But, Great job by Cedric down the stretch, especially at the free throw line. Thought PJ played great. It's nice to win on senior night. Uh, Mason hit a, hit the three to open the game, I believe, and uh, just an all-around great win for our team. And, and really proud of the way they battled back. Uh, Matt said this was the biggest comeback that we've had. We've had a bunch in double figures, but it's been a crazy basketball season in college. So. Uh, a lot of teams have been behind, and we've been behind quite a bit, and we've had to come from behind, and fortunately, we've been able to do that some. Those guys were talking about the sequence where Cedric missed the three, Dugay got the rebound, and then back over to Cedric. How much did you feel a little swing like that? Yeah, it was a big, big momentum. We changed defenses early in the second half and went to a press and uh, fell back into a zone, and we got some steals out of the press. Do had a great steal right through there, and I thought that got the crowd energized. Malik got a dunk. Uh, but the play that you're talking about, Tim, was a huge play, and we just made multiple efforts on the offensive glass. Do had to fight and tip and then kick it out and got the open three. I mean, they were all big. Trajan hit one. Christian Lafayette hit one in the corner. He'd already hit one in the first half. So uh, all those plays were momentum plays. It seemed like this game more than anything was just about guts and effort. I mean, it was just like every y'all reached a point where we're going to win the game. And you talk about willing teams to win. It just seemed that way watching that game. Well, we talk about there's an opportunity to win every game. There's a time to take the game. And, of course, the team two years ago was really good at that. But this, this group tonight, once it got even and we got ahead, I felt pretty comfortable. And then we got up two possessions, and then we get up 10. and. Uh, you know, didn't didn't handle a couple of things right down the stretch, but that, that always happens. Teams always score late and make it interesting, but we made enough free throws. So it was another character win, and the guys did. They just they, they willed themselves to win. I thought we were rel relentless tonight. Uh, that was a word that we talked about, that these guys are relentless on the backboards, and we got to be relentless all night. Do you, see, do you see Cedric kind of stepping up over the last few games? I mean, it seems like he's kind of taken over. Well, he's done a good job with the ball, and uh, especially in the half court, he does a, a real nice job of running the offense and settling us down. And you know, he had it in his hand. He made big play after big play. He got fouled. You know, we got a couple of breaks there uh, and got DJ out of the game. That was huge. I certainly felt better when he fouled out, even though there was just a minute or so to go. Uh, but Cedric has definitely grown up and matured. He's the oldest guy out there besides PJ and Mason. You know, that have been around and, and understand what we need to do late in the basketball game. Usually we'd have the ball in Malik's hand or Trey's hand, but Cedric's certainly very dependable in that situation. And you know he's going to make his free throws. How much are you guys motivated by not having to travel? Motivated me, uh, that's for sure. I, I, I didn't want to travel. Uh, unfortunately, I got a 7 o'clock flight in the morning to go recruiting, but uh, it'll be a little bit easier to wake up now early. 
but our guys didn't want to go. We, we wanted to stay here and uh, understand we're going to play Arkansas State now. So uh, another team that we're very familiar with. Coach, what about P.J. Hardy? He had such early season struggles and a rough start to the season, but he seemingly really has come on and been a far more consistent player. Talk about that progress. Yeah, he's been good at home, that's for sure, and that's another reason to be at home. He. Uh, didn't shoot the ball well at Little Rock and didn't make one. And then tonight he comes out and goes five for ten. And uh, I thought he made a driving layup early in the second half. We got some momentum. It was big time layup. Got knocked down. I thought it could have been a foul, but just to get that ball under his arm and off the glass, he made one the first half too. So he does a good job with that. And what a senior night! I was able to get him a curtain call there at the end, and well deserved. Yeah, uh, with Eaton, we know Eaton's really good, and, and he's a lot like DJ. We told the guys that you know DJ's going to get by you and snake the ball screen and put his body on you the same way that Eaton did. So I haven't seen the box tonight. I'm sure Eaton had a big game up there. I know they hit a game winner. I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't the guy that hit it. But uh, they've got a good team, and they, they've got size in, inside. And you know, same situation. You guys were here. We were down to them in the first half, and then. Uh, we're able to come back the second half and sneak out a win. In the first half, first five, ten minutes or so, I thought they were really out playing you. And then all of a sudden, you look up and y'all make a bucket and you're down by six or eight. What, what allowed y'all to kind of hang in there when they were seemingly doing a lot of things better than y'all at that stretch? I thought we had it to four at one time in the, in the first half and, and uh, maybe in the late 20s or early 30s. but And then we let it go right back out, stretch out. But... That was important to, to stay in the game. They were playing with a lot of confidence. Again, they got a good team. I think our teams uh, both play at a, a fast pace, and you know they can score the ball, as you see. Both teams scored uh, triple figures tonight. Uh, but they've, they've got a good team, and uh, it's certainly a good win, and I'm glad that, that we played them you know, just one time and we were able to win the, the tiebreaker with them in a state. Playing him on the ball, yeah. defensively, or you're, no, are you talking about no, no, no. on the offensive end? Well, he he plays it. Uh, you know, Seth started off because we started Mason. Malik sat down for senior day, and then when he came in, uh, we had him on the ball some, and then they were changing defenses. They they played box and one. They played triangle two. They played man. They played zone. They they were mixing it up and get, got us out of rhythm. So our best offense was to beat him in transition. Uh, and Malik really helped us there. He made a couple of nice plays. And, uh, but he, he, we, we're fortunate that we got three guys that we can put out there, and they're a little bit different. All of them are different.